Hey Capricorn, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and we're going to see what's going on. This is the how does my partner feel. So we're going to tap into your energy, your person's energy, whoever you're thinking about dealing with. And we're going to see what's going on, okay? All right. Um, like, share, comment, and subscribe if this is your reading. I appreciate it greatly. You can also um, get a personal love reading. All the details are in the description box. I also offer email tarot readings for those of you guys who are interested. Quick turnaround, only about three days is all on Etsy, okay? Along with my tarot, my oracle decks. I don't have extended bonus readings right now. I'm going to come back in September and do them for you guys, okay? But in the meantime, I do have my business course and my teaching tarot course for those of you guys who are interested, okay? All right, Capricorn, let's see what the challenge you are facing right now in love. What is the challenge here for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Six of Swords in reverse. So it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you're dealing with. Um, I'm seeing that there's some kind of conflict. You're having a difficult time parting ways with letting go. This could be something that you're in conflict with. And maybe you're having a difficult time letting them go or letting the situation go in order for you guys to move, to move forward, okay? There's something here that is holding you back, okay? So we're going to see what that's all about. Give me the recent past for Capricorn and their person. In a recent past, you have the Page of Cups and the Six of Cups in reverse, okay? So Capricorn, there's a very strong connection that you have with someone. This is someone you may consider your soulmate, someone you have a lot of feelings for. And I'm getting this is something very mutual between you and the individual. Even though right now, maybe you guys are going through a little bit of uh, some turbulence, but it's telling me that someone still cares about you. Page of Cups could be also an apology. Maybe someone recently apologized for something that they did um, regarding you. Or maybe the apology didn't get to you yet, okay? So, I mean, guys, there's someone here who obviously does care about you. Uh, maybe they don't always show it, okay? Maybe right now they're not showing it because there's some conflict that you guys haven't been able to resolve. Um, but the Six of Cups is definitely someone that you think about a lot, quite a bit fantasizing, dreaming, nostalgia, okay, thinking about the past events, memories shared, right? So let's see what is the current energy for Capricorn in this person. Two of Wands came out in the verse with the Ace of Swords. So there's a decision here that I'm getting a lot of you guys, you had to make, okay, this, your person had to make, someone had to make a decision. It's telling me that someone had to be honest, okay? I'm getting honest with their feelings, honest about their intentions. Some of you guys, Capricorn, you wanted honesty from this person, okay? And there's a decision that was made because of, um, you know, what you found out or something coming to light, okay? We're going to find out what that's all about, okay? Now, let's see. What is on your mind, Capricorn, regarding this person? I mean, I see Capricorn. There's obviously someone here. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio you're dealing with, okay? Maybe they have water in their chart. Um, you're not happy, Okay, I don't think neither one of you guys are really happy. I'm getting the energy that there's something here that's emotionally really taking a toll on you, very leaving you somewhat drained. Okay, there's there's a lack of fulfillment here. You're not really satisfied where things are between you and this individual. Let's see how they view you. The star in reverse and the three of wands in reverse. So some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius. Um, a lot of you guys. Capricorn, there's someone here who sees you as not budging. Maybe you've been waiting for them to take action towards you. Maybe you've been waiting for them to call you, to communicate, to reach out. There's something here where you are giving up. They feel as if you've given up on them. They may feel as if you're no longer interested. Okay, a very, very strong connection at one point. But for some reason, it's telling me that someone is like not so optimistic about something. Someone's kind of just like, eh, it is what it is. I don't, I don't even care anymore, you know. But really deep down, I really feel like you both care. That's what I'm feeling here. So let's look at this person's emotions and feelings for you. So Capricorn, your person definitely looks at you as <laughs> you are the one for them, okay? You know, the Empress, is there's still love here. There's still an energy of them wanting to nurture you, take care of you, um, protect you, provide for you. Some of you guys, it's just the energy of them wanting growth, okay? Still believing this connection, still believing that something good can come of it, that can it can blossom. And even if there's a lack of stability right now where you guys stand, even though you guys are not communicating, maybe you guys live with each other, someone got kicked out the house, there's the energy of still believing, that you know we have this potential here right if we actually plant seeds here we can make up for something that you know we don't have right now if there's distance we can you know we can overcome this so i feel like this is someone who really does care about you they desire you there's still a lot of um, love here okay with the empress energy let's see how they want to move forward with you 
Okay, so I'm saying that there's something regarding communication, Capricorn, with you and this individual. There's something here where Capricorn, this is your energy. So I'm getting the reason why something may not be able to get off the ground here with the Page of Wands in verse, even if they may want to, is because they feel that you're not, you you got your back turned toward them or you're upset with them or you don't look at them as someone that could provide you with the stability. There's something about you not believing in this connection anymore. So that's how they see moving forward. They almost see like you may be creating a blockage in them from coming towards you you may not receive their their communication well they may they may feel like you're not interested in communicating with them and they may feel it could be very difficult in bringing stability and you know you know committing back to this connection because a lot of you guys they see you with your back turned toward them okay so let's see what's going on behind the scenes okay let me just take those cards um the five of pentacles came out the nine of cups in verse so behind the scenes, Capricorn could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also got strong Earth energy. It could be another Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, I'm seeing that obviously someone feels left out in the cold by you. Someone does feel like they're distant. You know, you block them. You're not interested. You abandon them. There's someone that definitely feels um, a lot, very much distance from you, and they're not happy. Didn't I tell that? I mean, I said that already. They're not happy. You're not happy. You both are unfulfilled. You both are unsatisfied, and it's like you're not. You guys may not be expressing this. You may, you may not even know how your person feels right now. It's like they really do see this connection as something here that has a lot of potential to be nurtured and cared for, right? They want to care for you, but there's something here where they feel like you're not letting them in. They may feel like you're just you're just not <laughs> expecting anything from them anymore. You're not waiting on them, right? Three, three of Wands come out in the verse. You're not trying to heal this connection. So let's see what else we need to know. What's the advice for Capricorn? Okay, so Capricorn, we have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Emperor in the verse. There's something here where Capricorn, you you may be so fixated and focused on, you know, yourself right now. The Queen of Pentacles, she could, you know, she could be focused on her career, him or her career, family, self, okay? Growing oneself. And there's something here where you may need to take control of the situation regarding this person because the emperor universe is someone who lacks control there's no direction there's no moving forward and a lot of you guys that could be how you're treating this connection you may be so fixated on working yourself maybe you're, fo you're focused on you 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 maybe this person wasn't focused on you in the past but it's almost like the energy that if you want this with this person you may have to take that first step you may have to take the initiative some of you guys it's like you may not want to take the initiative because you felt this person didn't do much before there's a very very strong connection whoever this person is we got the emperor and the empress we got the queen of pentacles the king of pentacles a lot of you guys there's someone here that i'm getting like you guys are really a match but i'm also getting some serious power struggles here okay i'm getting a lot of power struggles and that's why something here has not been able to move forward right so let's see let's put this back okay what is the outcome here for Capricorn and this individual? We have the Eight of Swords, we have the Four of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. So Capricorn, you can expect someone to come rushing in. And I'm getting they're rushing in because they're at the point where they're feeling stuck, they're feeling tired, they feel like they can't do anything about this connection. And I'm getting like, this is like their last, <laughs> um, their last uh, action to kind of save this connection. Because there's someone here who wants to hold on to what they have with you, and I don't see them wanting to let go, okay? There's someone here who doesn't want to just leave the connection. They don't want to just you know they want to move things to comma waters and they're not moving on without you so i do see someone rushing in there could be someone rushing in with a lot of communication a lot of truth a lot of clarity and it's really to get unstuck because a lot of you guys are in a situation here where both of you guys are stuck and there hasn't perhaps been movement so let's get some clarity for you guys capricorn if this is your reading do give me a like share comment and subscribe all right Capricorn, please. Give me more clarity on the Six of Swords. I want to find out more about the Six of Swords. What is this conflict here? You guys are having a difficult time letting go and parting ways with. We have the Queen of Pentacles in verse and the Seven of Pentacles in verse. A lot of you guys, I'm getting Capricorn, this is you. A lot of you guys, you chose to step back because in the past, I'm getting this person may have not been able to give you the commitment that you were looking for. Some of you guys, you found out that you maybe you were investing in a situation where they were not equally invested or they were not, they didn't show themselves to be invested, right? You may have given this person your time, your energy, your effort. And it's something here where you felt it was a big fat waste of your time. And a lot of you guys are holding this against them. It's like a, there's some kind of grudge here. You're just not happy with how they treated you in the past. And therefore, you're kind of just like, well, no, I'm, I'm just done. I'm not doing this anymore. So give me the recent past. It's someone who may have came back to apologize. They're obviously still on your mind. You're, you know, you're on their mind. Um, you both are thinking about each other. Six of Cups. 
magician. If someone wants to come back to manifest with you, and I do feel like this is someone who may want to apologize in order to create a new opportunity between you and them, they still do believe in it. There could be a Gemini here. Now, in the current energy, there's a decision here. There's something regarding wanting to speak their truth. Ace of Cups. So, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. Someone wants to speak the truth because I do feel whoever this person was um, or is in your life, Capricorn, it could be Leo, Sag, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be any sign. Someone made a bad decision in the past. They may have had two options, two people. Maybe they chose a different path, okay, that wasn't for them. And they may have even jeopardized the connection. But I also see in the current energy, they're wanting to offer a new beginning. They want to offer new love. They want to offer you love and honesty. They want to speak their truth. They want to get something here clear. And maybe even want to profess their love to you, okay? So let's see what's on their mind with the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups in reverse. They're not happy. They obviously have a lot of feelings for you. They're not happy where things stand. There's a lack of stability in their life. And this is, what the, this is what's on their mind. And a lot of you guys, Capricorn, they feel like you are resisting them. You are, you're stubborn. <laughs> they feel like you are, you're not taking action toward them. And it's making it very difficult for them to give you this new offer. Now, they see you with the star in the verse. They see you not moving forward with them. Three of Wands in verse. And you guys can flip the roles, okay? Take it how it resonates. The Two of Wands in verse. A lot of you guys, there's something here about you feeling as if you made your decision. You made your decision. So you you go ahead and do that. Because there's something here about I'm I'm not waiting for you to come back. I'm not, I'm not waiting for you anymore. You chose your direction. You chose your path right? And a lot of you guys are giving up on a situation here. It could be an Aquarius. Now, in this person's feelings and emotions, they still care about you. They want to nurture you. The hard mind, they want maybe even a commitment. They see you as someone they want to commit with. They want to nurture. They want to take care of. And they feel in this place of imbalance without you, right? They feel uh, the four wands in verse, like there's something missing in their life. Like you are the missing puzzle piece, right? So how do they see moving forward? Nine of cups in verse and the four wands. <laughs> A lot of you guys, they want they want to come back. There's some kind of reunion here they want, and they're not happy until they get it, okay? And a lot of you guys, they know this could be difficult to get to because they see that you're not really invested in this connection anymore with the King of Pentacles in verse, okay? But there's definitely someone here who wants a reunion. Let's get back together. Engagements, family celebrating, that kind of thing, okay? Behind the scenes, um, again, a lack of fulfillment emotionally, um, you know, feeling drained, very frustrated, confused left out in the cold and three of swords devastated hurt heartbroken right so this is their energy some of you guys are someone here who's really heartbroken but i'm also getting their hurt because they hurt you um could be in a betrayal here they hurt you and they're feeling the pain because there's some kind of separation and they're feeling again abandoned neglected they feel like you don't care about them anymore so again the advice for you guys Page of Swords in verse. Find out more information. Some of you guys, there's something here you may have to find out. Maybe there's something this person hasn't told you. And that's why the Ace of Swords here. There may be something here you have to, um, you know, consider. Maybe listen to this person. Get some clarity on, an on, a, on, on a situation because there's something here you may not be seeing or you may not be aware of. The Page of Swords in verse is there, there's some kind of missing information here. You may not have the whole story. It's what it's telling me, Capricorn. So maybe get the whole story before you make a decision. All right. So let's see the outcome. Eight of Swords, someone's coming rushing in. Four Cups in verse, someone doesn't miss, doesn't want to miss an opportunity with you. The Four Cups in verse, right? They don't want to just let this go. So there's a decision here, Two of Swords in verse. Head of a heart decision, this person's coming in to make regarding you because ultimately they don't want to miss this. They don't want to let you go. They, they believe in this connection. They view you as the Empress or the, the connection with this Empress energy. There's about new beginnings, creativity, fertility, right? There's potential. And someone's coming in. They're getting out of their head. They're not going to hold themselves back anymore. And they're saying, what the hell? I'm going, I'm coming in and um, this is what I want, okay? I want us to get out of this stuck energy. Let's get out of this stalemate. And I don't want to miss this opportunity with you. Maybe I rejected you in the past. Maybe I, I wasn't fighting for you, but I'm not going to allow this to slip through the cracks anymore, okay? So that's what I'm seeing, Capricorn. If this is your reading, do give me a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you want a personal love reading, all the details are in the description box. All right, you guys have a great remainder of your day. Bye.